I'm gonna show you my first roll of film that I ever shot. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I went from shooting all digital to starting to shoot film. I had started my photography business, I was shooting digital, and I had always, like, in the back of my mind, wanted to shoot film, but it seemed kind of daunting and like, oh, I don't really understand everything, I don't have a dark room, so it doesn't, didn't seem possible, uh, it didn't seem possible to me to be able to shoot film. Well, there was this girl in my life at the time, which is Allie, who now is my wife, and she was really encouraging me to actually shoot film. Like, get a camera, get some film, and start doing it. You've been wanting to do this for so long, just like, figure it out and do it. Around the same time, I had connected with a photographer in the States. Uh, his name's Chris Isham, and he is an incredible wedding photographer who shoots on film. And I met up with him, and we were talking about photography, and I asked him about film. I was like, you shoot your weddings in film? Like, that was so mind-blowing to me. And I, I asked him, like, how can I start? And he actually gave me a recommendation to get a Nikon F100. I'm a Nikon shooter and he said, this is a really great camera to get to shoot film on because it has a built-in light meter and you can use all of your Nikon lenses. And so for me, that was a really like nice and easy transition into starting to shoot film. I didn't have to like get all these different lenses. Um, all I had to do was get a film body and I was ready to go. Actually, he also told me to get a light meter. Now, now that I think back, and I got the light meter and I got the F100 and then it sat in my closet for maybe like a year. I was too scared. I was too scared to try it. Because when you think about shooting film, it, it seems like you need to know all this technical knowledge about how film works and like which film stock to use and it seems intimidating. Uh, it seemed intimidating to me to like go into a camera store and be like, uh, I want to shoot film and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I just like didn't do it for a long time. Well, I had gotten married to that girl who encouraged me to shoot film and I felt the pressure mounting. It was our honeymoon and we were going to Paris and I said, okay, if there is any time I'm gonna shoot film, <laughs> it's gonna be now. It's gonna be on our honeymoon in Paris, like I've got to do this. And so I got a roll of black and white Ilford 3200 and I threw it in that camera. We got on the plane to Paris uh, and boom, my first photo in Paris, but I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> like, I, the light meter was too stressful to, to figure out because I didn't know, like, do you put the thing in? Do you put the thing out? Which way do I point this thing? So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna use the camera. I'm gonna put it on aperture priority. I'm gonna put it to 1.8 and I'm gonna start shooting and hope for the best. We were walking through the streets of Paris enjoying our time and I took the second photo and the back of my camera broke off. Like the little hinge, the little, the little back door that hinges close, well that hinge cracked open and boom, my camera flew open. And I was like, are you kidding me? So here I was, married to my dream girl in my dream place in Paris for our honeymoon and my one and only film camera just broke open and I knew really nothing about film. I thought like the whole like roll is shot. What do I do? So at first I thought, okay, it's just gonna wreck the one image that I took. If I just close this back and hold it and just keep taking photos, it'll be fine, right? I think, I don't know what we did. Maybe I put it in my bag so it'd be dark. I don't know what I did, but I remember taking a few more photos with my hand, just holding it shut. Uh, and then the next day, I think I got tape and just like wrapped tape around my camera and hoped that hopefully this whole roll of film isn't just white. And so fast forward, we got back home from our honeymoon and for some reason I thought like, ugh. Uh, forget it, like I'm sure the whole roll is just garbage. And it sat in my drawer for months. And after a few months, I was like, okay, you know what? This has been gone, this has been going on too long. So I took the roll and I sent it in and I crossed my fingers. And sure enough, I did lose a couple frames, 
But it turned out that the photos from Paris turned out pretty well. And I was very excited. And this role of film, it like got me so excited about shooting film and incorporating film into my work. I was, I was dumbfounded about how these photos turned out. Um, I've talked about this in other videos, but the big things that, that stood out to me was the intention um, behind how I took the photos, that I cared about the composition. I was like looking really hard at like how, the, because I'd been shooting digital for years. I had, you know, shot a wedding and been shooting off digital images thousands at a time. And this was the first time I had really restraint around how I took photos. Anyways, so I was so excited about how the composition turned out. I was so excited about the quality of the photo, the, the, the black and white, the grain. It just, mm, I was so happy about it. And as I looked through these images for the first time, I was just like, what? Like, this is a game changer. And I think one of the big things that I was so surprised about was how forgiving the film was. I think so many people, I don't know, maybe because it's not like a very popular thing anymore, but I got the impression that film was like extra hard and it's like really difficult because, you know, I don't really know. But my impressions of this first role and my experience of shooting not a ton of film, but a good amount of film, um, over the last few years is that a film is actually quite forgiving and you don't need to be freaked out or stressed about doing your first role because uh, at least for me, it turned out way better than I thought it would, it would be. Like, for example, like I was so surprised that this captured like the, sh the shadows from this tree and it actually got a little bit of Eif Eiffel Tower um, in the background. And I was surprised about like the dynamic range. And it's like, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what my internal light meter was doing, um, but they still turned out really beautiful. Photos like these where you can see the grain. I, I understand now that some of these things are underexposed or overexposed, um, but I, for the first roll of film ever, I was, I was, I was very happy about it. And this was my honeymoon. It was like all the romance feelings uh, I was very excited about. But like, look, uh, it's so nice. Like the quality of the grain and just like, I don't know. Like this is what just totally made me fall in love with film. Um, and as I've been, oh, there's a photo of me. Um, as I've been you know, doing these videos. And actually one of my videos was put on like a photo blog and uh, I looked through some of the comments on there. And it's really interesting, um, you know, how some people approach film photography. They say, oh, well, it's not as good as digital. It's not a comparison. And the comparisons don't matter to me. I don't see myself as a photographer first. I see myself as an artist first. And an artist doesn't always think logically. Uh, they think with their feelings. They think with their in intuition. And for me, that's how I feel about photography. I feel, do could I get a photo exactly like this on digital? Very possibly. Um, but a big factor to how I take photos and how I think artists take photos is how you feel and what your intuition is. And um, getting these photos back and looking through them, I was like, wow, I love how holding this camera made me feel. I love how loading the film made me feel. I loved the feeling of like, ooh, I can't take too many photos. Like, this is gonna cost me money. Um, and it's way more than just like, I don't know, digital quality or <laughs> whatever it is. Um, it's about the art of film and the art of photography. And oof, this just like brought out this whole side of me that I knew was down there, but man, shooting film and getting this role back really changed things for me. Like, oh, I just, like, here's a great moment where I think if I shot with digital, I would have just like, blah, 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 like shot a whole bunch and then like hoped it was fine. But I sat here and waited and waited till people came by and the cars weren't there and there was no bikes. I waited for the perfect like angle, the perfect moment. And then I was like, okay, this is the time. <laughs> and then I got this one is really great.
We still had our digital camera. You can see Allie's holding the 750 on her. Yeah, I was just so surprised. Like this is indoor like shots. And here's a few shots that we took inside a cafe in Paris. Um, I was just, I don't know. I was just pleasantly surprised about its versatility of being able to shoot outdoors, indoors. Um, and I was just so happy with like how everything turned out. Ugh. Like the moodiness, is, the moodiness of this shot is just kind of like out of focus. You feel the grain and the, oh, it's just so nice. So what I would say, if you're interested in shooting film, like you really only need to understand the basics of photography, the basics of shutter speed, aperture, um, ISO, the, the, the rate of film, your ISO of your film. If you understand those things, like, you can definitely shoot film. It doesn't need to be too scary. Um, I think you'll discover how easy it was, like I did, uh, to shoot film. And the results were very exciting. Like, ooh, I love these shots of Allie. They're, like, some of my favorite that I've, like, ever shot of her. Um, they make me very happy. Uh, we got a photo of the both of us together outside the Louvre. And uh, just, like, a photo like this. Like, there was so many lines going on. Um, I just, I don't know, I had the patience and the time to wait and be like, hey, I've really got to spend the time on this uh, because I only want to take one shot and it's going to be the perfect one. And I love this one of Ali as well. Ugh, man. So that was my first roll of film that I had ever shot. This was the first time that I purchased a roll of film and put it in a camera, shot it, and got the, the photos back. If you're interested in shooting film, hopefully this can give you some like some hope and this can kind of push you over to the edge of going from wanting to shoot film to going out and buying your first roll, putting it in a camera. It doesn't even matter which camera it is. Just find a film camera, throw it in there and see what happens.